Jaga beta pun mama ini Siu siti manis Jaga beta pun mama
было теперь. И вот это дома кит. Ordinary kit. Nothing special. So he had a big dream. But it's possible. I mean, it's possible. Because, you know, uh, he's just nothing special. You know, sometimes if you judge people or yourself, you're not special. And it will stick on your mind. You'll give a suggestion that you're not special. Until that thing holds you or helps you to win everything. You believe you can't do something. You believe you just live for, you know, work, get money, eat, rest. Do that until you die. You're not special. It's interesting when a this little kid think about that. Think about what you he do when he becomes an adult. You just do nothing. But peacefully, we're just in his hand now to step out from the comfort zone and take a risk, face everything new, challenge himself, or stay in his comfort zone peacefully and nothing happens. Well, both sides have the benefit, but he took to another step. So he left his family in his 15 Yeah, He left his family. He lived by himself. Didn't have any friend or family, so he stuck everything from here. He learned by himself. He met the people, the bad people, people who bully him because he was different. So, until some day, he thinks, I don't want to be bullied, so I have to be a different man. I have to be the same with them. So, he tried to act like them. He tried to force himself to be them. Because at that time, he didn't have any friends. So that's the only choice. But it didn't go really well. They still reject him. But still, he is a different. Until that moment, remember when I said he thinks he is not special? On that moment, he thinks, gee, same different, but in bad way, because he thinks that uh, if I'm different, I mean, people will reject me. So he decided to do from that guy. But he knows, if he doesn't like something, or if he hates something, 
get on the job yet. Stay with it and taste it later. And or use your other place. Could you realize you don't belong there? Should you move to other place? And then he arrived at a new place. And it happened exactly the same. He moved from place to place and it always happened. He had rejection everywhere. But until one day he met a friend, he met a good friend. He had his own inner circle. Not that big, but they're very solid. He told a lot of stories. He became alpha male. Because, you know, when you found a new place with your people, and you, if you can do better, you know, something higher than them, you feel powerful, you become alpha. From his, ex from his experience, when he was a kid until now, he has a lot of stories to tell. First, he become an alpha because, you know, if a guy had an experience, he's just a boss. turns him into like sleep into the main cave. So masculine. So powerful. So strong. It only a cave for me to cry. Because if he's crying, it he think that people will mock him or laugh at him. You are an alpha man, you are strong, you are a big guy. You are powerful. One day he realized he just wearing a mask. Why? Because at one moment when he was really sad, he wanted to cry but he can't. He wants to cry to his friend, but he can't, because you're the boss, why are you crying in front of him? Then he decided to leave me. He decided to leave, leave by himself again, and be free. He can cry whenever he's mad. He's still wandering. Travel around. Just enjoy the sound of the wind. Sound of sun. Yes, sun does have sound. When you stay there quite peacefully, and when you feel the sun, that's the moment when you hear the sound of the sun. Sometimes when you tell a story to people, it's just not that fun, rather than you tell the story to yourself. And the uh, and nature is the audience. It's just Nothing can judge you. Nothing can laugh at you or nothing.
probably the best thing you ever done in your life. But once again, it's different from people to people. You can't judge people or sight from their appearance. Probably you don't know what did they do in their life or, or what's their experience. Get people kids. You want to get But he realized that different does not make him useful. He keeps learning new things, learn and learn. He never, when people tell a story to him or when he learns something, he never. Ask a question. There was a little girl and she has to travel to other villages. It's a smaller village but quite peaceful and a lot of nice people. The problem is to get there she has to travel along the forest and in the forest people believe that there is a monster monster very big with, with a human shape very tall green body Sharp nail, wavy and long hair, red eyes. The monster has a fang, really sharp. The monster loves to eat human. The other problem is that forest is so big. The only way to get to the village is across the forest. That is the shortest way. And she needs to arrive there in time. <coughs> so her mother gave three cucumber to the girl. That is the magical cucumber. It's called the brown cucumber, the silver cucumber, and the gold cucumber. And her mom said, anytime if you need to use that cucumber to fight the monster, just use it. But Remember, you, you only have three cucumbers. Use it wisely. Otherwise, you will run out of the cucumbers. And he will eat you and you will die. So she ran into the forest. She ran and ran quietly, 
Heidi and then Nirvana again. Heidi began Nirvana again until she noticed something. The trees are moving. She can smell the monster because the monster is really nasty. It's really stinky. And as well as the monster, the monster can smell the girl because he loves human flesh and blood. So he sniffed and searching for the girl. And he found her. So the girl ran. Ran and ran and ran. But no matter how fast the girl is, and no matter how fast the girl is, the monster are just too big and too fast. Because he has a long legs. Maybe one step for the monster is like 30 meters or like 70 steps for the girl. When the, monster, when the monster almost caught the girl, the girl used the first cucumber. He break down the cucumber and throw it down to the sand. Well, there was sand there, and so it maybe I forgot sand as well. And then the cucumber turned into a plant, a spiky plant, you know, like the tree, like a lot of branches, but it's really sharp, like cactus or something. And it turns the land into the spiky land, really sharp, to slow down or stop the monster. But it can't stop the monster, it just slow him down. The monster was really struggling. His feet are bleeding. He was yelling and he was screaming. He was cursing the girl. I will eat you. I will fucking eat you. The girl was running. Running and running again. Though it still slaughtered the monster. She can feel that. She almost arrived in village. Running, running, running again. Then after the monster escaped from the spiky land, he ran into the girl really fast. He wants his revenge to the girl. The monster almost caught the girl, so the girl used the second cucumber. He break down the cucumber and, and throw it into the soil. And immediately, the soil turned into a water, big lake of water. It's not like sea, but it's a lake. The point of the cucumber is to drown the monster. But no, the monster can't swim. But it just slowed down the monster, so the monster swim through the girl while the girl is still running. The water just slowed down the monster, so the monster decided to drink the water. So she drink and drink and drink again and again. She drink again. Until the water is short enough for him to run. Probably the monster drink the lake like <laughs> almost two days. Well we can see that the girl almost reached the village. But because the monster getting mad, he just run and run and run. He didn't care about everything. He just run and run and run to catch a girl and find me, he found the girl. He almost caught the girl again. One last cucumber. So the 
girl was using the brown one, the silver one, and the last one is the gold one. One must come. The girl finally reached the village. But the bad thing is the girl was luring the monster into the village. People were panic because the monster was there. The monster were happy because finally a lot of human I can eat those human. So she is the last cockerbird, the gold one. She throw the cockerbird into the land, into the soil, and nothing happened. Nothing happened like before. So the monster was laughing at her. <laughs> what do you want to do with that cucumber? With that gold shit? It does nothing to me. So he just laughing. Laughing. So the monster picked the cup, cucumber and eat it. Immediately after he ate the cucumber, his body turns into gold. It's turned him into a gold statue. Gold big monster statue. Really beautiful. But scary. But beautiful. From then until now, people call the statues Gold to cover. Be called old statue of monster. Until now, people still wondering whether this story is true or fake or just a false story or maybe it's just human who created the gold statue, gold monster statue, and this story just. A lot of bike, okay? Oh no. This is the end of story of Gold Cucumber. I told about the kid before, and of course, every person. They have their own life or own social life. <clears throat> Let's take a look about his romance life. He was a type of melancholic person. So uh, when he had a girlfriend, he was so insecure. He was so overprotective, like overacting and stuff. He thought if he act like that, his girlfriend will be happy. Because you know, uh, because it sounds like, oh, I'm caring you, I'm protecting you. You should be happy for that. He wants a drama, drama in their relationship. And we should admit that. If a lot of people feels the same as well, people want drama in their life to make it sounds lovely. So he had a relationship for three years, but full of drama because of him. He makes uh, he made a. Um, small thing, small problem, to bigger, not in the other way, and it's just a bad relationship, it's so boring, you know, everyday texting his girlfriend like, hey, what are we doing, or if you at your lunch or dinner, everything the same, it's so boring for the girl. Until 
one day after three years they broke up well of course the girl dumps him because the girls had a new boyfriend probably because well he's too boring the kid he was he was so sad really sad of course after three years so he decided to move on but still still hard for him so he decided to move on he joined a community it's a pickup artist community well it's it's not like a playboy school but just to pick up the chicks pick up the girl people laugh at him when they know he joined that kind of community it was a workshop but who knows that workshop totally changed his life this is the moment when i told you when the kid become an alpha male why he become an alpha male from like a small kid small melancholic kid of course because of this so they taught him how to change his mind how to change his reaction and how to change his action starting from a girl they taught him not to chase a girl but how to make the girl chasing you and it is possible first thing first you need to upgrade yourself physically and mentally for mentally you need to know that you have an alpha you take control of everything you're powerful and people are want you people are begging you people want you and for physical of course you do diet you go to the gym you change your hairstyle you change everything you change the way you walk you walk you change your body language you make it look beautiful it makes it look cool so physical men and mentally change what next next it approach the girl but play the game when you talk to the girl never chase them but you should make as if they're chasing you you don't do any ordinary or boring chit chat like hey nice weather and nice to meet you it's it's a bullshit no one like that but you make a good pickup line you tell them a story you make sure that you are different lucky for him he had bonds of story because he had a he moved from place to place, so he had a lot of story to tell. So he become a playboy. You never had a, he never have a girlfriend anymore because he just enjoying that time. Like, you know, hanging around with a lot of girls without commitment. It's, it's a heaven just do one at stand every time you want because they just want you that workshop that pickup line workshop i mean the pickup artist workshop just totally changed his life he has a lot of confidence remember the people that i told you the people that laugh at him and now they can say nothing because they just see the transformation he's changed he become better and better 
until one moment it's just stuck there just feel bored with everything so he decided to move because he realized that what he did it just it's just about himself And you feel lonely because of that. So he learned how to understand people, how to learn new things from people, how to not, you know, some sometimes you just feel like you know everything. You want to debate everything. You want to show off your knowledge and everything. Just stop there. He just wants to stop there and become the listener. You listen to people, you understand their feeling. You hear their story and much more. Well, when you meet a new people with different perspective, different experience, different way of thinking, different knowledge, and how about from different country, different background, different races, different religion, and you expect the same thing? No, it's absolutely different so he learned a new thing new thing in life he was a very religious person a fanatic catholic he came from a religious family and then he turns into an Atheist, not believing in God, because he is full of science, and then he turns into agnostic. He believes again, but in some system, not in ordinary God like what people think, but he creates his own belief system, and it happened because he met new people talk with them understand their story understand their feeling and it will change your life now what happened with the kid now he just still in his journey travel around and learn new thing listen to people study more who knows what happened next